Welcome back to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 960. I really enjoyed that conversation with David David um, about Kabbalah. And uh, I think that there's so many interesting things that he talks about uh, in regards to the connectivity between all of us, the connectivity between uh, religion and science that uh, too often we, um, we get wrong and uh, we mix up and we don't think exists. Uh, and I think that... Uh, you know, the law of attraction uh, that lots of people think about in regards of, uh, of sort of positive thinking that he thinks about almost as a, as a natural truth. Um, uh, lots of the things that he said were very relevant and I think uh, helpful to, uh, to understand uh, and, and hear from someone as learned as, uh, as David Zakin. So thank you for him sharing Kabbalah, which I'd always been intrigued by and interested in, but never knew much about. I wanted to add a few thoughts of my own on uh, spirituality, if I could. Uh, it's been uh, an interesting uh, year, as I've year and a half, as I've interviewed so many different people on spirituality, and a couple of them have really spoken to me. Um, I interviewed a uh, a uh, Sikh um, priest uh, who who had some of the most interesting things to say in regards to um, calmness and meditation. Um, and uh, thinking about what's real and important in life, uh, really enjoyed my interactions with him. I interviewed a Buddhist monk, a gentleman who calls himself the urban Buddhist monk, and um, he's all about uh, uh, kindness and mindfulness, uh, ending up with kindfulness, and he wants to lead a, uh, a mission for kindfulness. And uh, it's interesting that he thinks that you've got to meditate and be mindful. Uh, before you can really be kind uh, and before you can then have kindfulness. And, and I found that fascinating. Um, I've interviewed a bunch of uh, people that uh, um, are what some people would call woo-woo people, um, Reiki masters and yoga teachers and, uh, and, uh, and people that believe in the spirit world and things like that. Um, and, you know, some of what they say is so true. They talk about connectivity between people. They talk about uh, vibration. They talk about energy. They talk about uh, going out and hugging a tree, going out and walking barefoot in the sand or in the grass, uh, go out and scream in the forest where no one can hear. You know, maybe this is new age stuff, or maybe it's sort of mother nature stuff. I'm not sure, but it, uh, it speaks to me. I uh, mentioned last week that I got a canoe for my birthday. And I went out canoeing on the Credit River and being out in nature and the sunshine and the water and the birds and the, and the ducks and, and a, uh, a swan that uh, writes under the Lakeshore uh, uh, Road Bridge that uh, has just um, given birth to a bunch of, uh, of little baby swans. It's beautiful. That connection to nature is just so special. So I think that they've got something to say. And then I interviewed this person who talked about the six universal human needs. And, you know, it's probably comparable to Maslow's uh, um, pyramid of, uh, of, of uh, things that we all want and need. Um, but I really liked it and it spoke to me. So I want to share them with you if I could. The first one is certainty, a roof, a job, a next meal, a paycheck, etc. Second is that you want and you need variety to be happy, whether it's a drink or to work out or uh, go to a movie or go dance, something that makes your life a variety. Third is significance, that we need and want to be wanted. We need some sort of success. We need to feel that we're significant, that we would be missed if we were gone. The fourth is love and connection. And it's both love with hopefully another romantic partner and connection to a wider circle of people, whether they be family, friends, associates, etc. But it's both love and connection, social significance. Fifth is growth. And if you don't grow, we die. That's interesting. And you know, so many people that have sort of got stuck in a rut and don't grow. And I think that that's very relevant. And then the final one I really like, it's that we have a need to contribute. We actually 
have to be charitable. We have to contribute. We have to do something for other people. Our spirit needs to contribute. And we must love unconditionally. There's so many people that don't love unconditionally. They love only conditionally. They only love if love is given back. They only love if they get money. They only love if they get presents. They only love if they get their way. They want to control. Very few people love unconditionally. And it's one of the six universal human needs. And so I think that this is uh, kind of interesting. Certainty, variety, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. I'm not sure whether David Zakin and, uh, and Kabbalah are the answer. I'm not sure if hugging trees are the answer. I'm not sure if screaming is the answer. I'm not sure if positive thinking and, uh, and vibration is the answer. I'm not sure if the six human universal human needs are the answer. But one of the things that I think is fascinating as I've lived my life and gone through my journey and talked to a whole bunch of people, both before this uh, radio show and then um, very significantly during all my interviews of this radio show, is I think that part of our life journey is to be curious and try to figure out what our meaning is and what the meaning of life is. Part of our job is to try to figure it all out. And it makes life kind of interesting. Anyway, that's the thought for today. Good night.